What is going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay. Thanks so much for checking out today's video. We are taking a close look at the Ibanez TOD-10, which of course is Tim Henson's signature model guitar. This is based on the Ibanez AZ line, and uh, we're going to run through the specs real quick. But first and foremost, I do have to show you the Tree of Death inlay up close. That is really, really cool. It's tasteful. It's different. You know, I really like that a lot. Obviously, it's based on Steve Vai's Tree of Life inlay with a twist. But I figured since we're about to get into Halloween and the spooky season, we got Mr. Peepers chilling over here on the skull. Uh, why not do a scary guitar like this, you know? A little bit frightening. First off, it's got American basswood body, uh, silver finish, gloss finish. That's the only finish that's currently available. But Tim has alluded to the fact that they're going to be offering different colors down the pipeline pretty soon. So that'll be pretty cool to see what those are. Uh, we've got a one-piece roasted maple neck. Ebony fingerboard, which is always my favorite. That dark black color fingerboard is just sick. Lumen lay side dots, of course. That's kind of becoming the norm with these higher-end model guitars, you know, as you can see on stage. And then, of course, it's very tastefully appointed with the chrome hardware all around. We've got a Godot 1502 bridge, a T1502, and it's really nice. We've got a push-pull there, volume knob. Uh, five-way selector switch, but in, in total you have like, I don't know, at least 10 different tones because he's got di three different voicings with his signature model Fishman Fluence pickups. <laughs> moderns but they're Tim, Tim Henson's signature version of those so the voicing is a little bit different. Then up here in the headstock we've got of course the Goto hardware, the Goto locking tuners which are staggered tuners as well. That's really nice. That's a nice little benefit. Uh, I like that too. And of course the Graf Tech nut in white here. This guitar is just really gorgeous. It looks great. It feels nice. It's it's on the heavier side but it's not it's not the boat anchor but it's you know it's got to be at least seven seven to eight pounds I would guess. Um, you know, if you look at the back here too, the heel, the, 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 the carve outs, it kind of looks reminiscent to me of like American muscle cars. You know, it's got that sort of vintage or retro look to it, but obviously it's a modern guitar. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. And I must say this bridge, is very similar to the Goto 510 that I have on some other guitars, like my Charvels, but it's just slightly different in that this arm, the trem arm, kind of snaps into place and then you can screw it down to kind of tighten it up with this little uh, tightening ring. So you can kind of set it where you want it. It'll stay there, which is nice. I've been playing around with this for a while now and for some reason, this guitar just does not go out of tune. I don't know if it's because this nut was just cut so perfectly, but the slots are amazing. The strings do not bind at all. I've been able to do dives with this thing flutters, pull on it, everything else, and it just stays in tune. It's really incredible. So I don't know if that's attributed to just this particular model in my hand, you know, with this nut, or if they all come that way from the factory, but this thing is, just stays in tune. I mean, it's crazy. I can't really believe it, considering that it's not a double locking trem system. Um, the neck feels great too. So let's go over the dimensions of it. So this neck is a little bit thicker than a wizard neck. I think it's 20 and a half millimeter at the nut and 22 and a half millimeters thick at the 12th fret. Uh, they're calling this an oval C, so it's not very round and it's not very flat like a D. It's very comfortable. I'm able to move around very easily on this thing. It's great. We've got 24 uh, premium stainless steel frets on this. So the fret work, whoever did that, it just did a phenomenal job. It really feels great. No complaints. Uh, there's no buzzing on this guitar. You know, I've got really low action. I set all my guitars up with really low action. That's just how I like it, where they tend to buzz. At some point, I'll, I'll lower them so much that they just do buzz. You know, you can't really ha avoid it. But this thing hardly has any string buzz at all. It's doing what I want needed to do. If I mean, you're looking for the modern guitar with a nice trem system, you know, or you just want to do the flutters like Polyphia. They do that a lot. This is exactly what you need. Uh, it feels great. It's gorgeous. It's comfortable, you know. And so we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to go through some of the different voicings that he has with his signature pickups just to give you guys a better sense of the overall tonal capabilities of this guitar. This thing is scary. <laughs> Yeah. 
one thing I forgot to mention earlier too was that this guitar is made in Indonesia. It's a premium line. I've been as premium line as opposed to the prestige line, which is made in Japan. And honestly, the differences between the two levels is negligible to me. I mean, yes, the, the Japanese build is going to be a little bit nicer, if that really makes sense. So that's on you. Um, but this guitar is built like a tank. I had a blast checking it out. The Ibanez TOD-10, the Tim Henson signature model. And again, that Tree of Death inlay is just gorgeous, man. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. I've got a link down in the description below for Zounds.com. They've got these in stock, and they gave me this one on loan so I could check it out for you guys here today. And if you click that link, it doesn't cost you a penny to check it out. Check the website out, and uh, maybe buy this guitar, buy something else if you want to. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Until next time, guys, I'm out of here. See ya!